Hello and welcome back to How to Connect with Humans, the series that we put together with Wayne Yates. Hello, how are you? Hello. And I'm Carolina Barker. I, we, we don't usually say our names, really, mm. so it's quite cool. <laughs> By the end of series two, about time. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is the end of series two. This is our episode 11, and uh, oh, we have a guest that we love so much. Oh, my God. He's amazing. We haven't known each other for that long, but it's like we've known each other forever. And it's just like we're part of the same family. We we just got together and we started talking. It was like we always we always had this connection, and I'm sure we always had this connection. We just didn't know that uh, we we haven't met yet. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to see Michael Bentley for a minute. <laughs> I could, I could. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, well, the thing is that we decided, well, yeah, talking to uh, our guest, who is Christopher Wren, and um, that uh, uh, we wanted to call this episode The Simplicity of Life. Not because life comes to us super simple, but because we've seen something that's changed our lives so much and in an incredible way and if there was somebody that we really wanted to bring that freshness and that every day how you live it how you feel it how fresh it is to him is is Chris so hello Chris how are you <laughs> hello, everyone. hello 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 thank you for having me <laughs> we love to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me share this space with you. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hey. They're all saying hello. <laughs> I like your view, Lee. I really like your view. Well, he's um, in Miami, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, so closer to Cuba, where you want to go? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, my name is Christopher Mavinga, well known as Christopher Wren. Um, I came across the uh, three principles and this understanding when I was in prison. And before that, I didn't know simplicity. Or the only time I heard the word simplicity was probably when I was trying to cook something in the kitchen when my mom's telling me, make it simple. In the gym, someone telling me, do something simple. Definitely in the football pitch, because I, growing up, that kind of helped just to learn some discipline. So I loved football. So that's one of the times I probably took it upon myself to actually take it and say, yeah, you know what, take things simple. And it made me a better defender for it. But uh, for someone to tell me, my life could be so much simpler before I had this understanding. That's when I would have told you, nah, you're lying or you're living out of a dream or you're, yeah, you're living out of a dream, you know? But the in and out, I've been in out of prison just to get where I got to in only. And for someone else to just tell me I can live my life in such a simple way. And I didn't know it at the time. Um, her name was Jackie Hollows. But before then, like I said, I was ever, and I've done so many prison sentences before, before this one. And using things to just find simplicity, you know? But now I kind of actually enjoy the little things, like just knowing that I can pick up the phone and speak to my mum on, fo- on the other side of the phone without no problems. Or just seeing my niece when she walks through the door, like, oh, you know, there's just the little things. Like, I, I, used, to, I used to take for granted. I literally did and why I say simplicity, where I would say I lived up in my head. 
I would always be either in the pre, either be in the future or or uh, or, or the future or the past. Yeah, in the past, sorry, in the, or in the past, yeah, or in the past, was never really, with usual, you know what I mean, I was never in the present, and that's, that's something I, I liked and never really understood, and, to, you know, just being present and not being in your head, like, you can allow you to connect with people, and that's how I connect with you, wonderful people, like, wonderful people just not being in my head. And I got real nervous even doing this, but <laughs> once again, I was just getting my head, you know, but, <laughs> but this understanding has really, really helped me. It has really, really helped me. And like I said, I can just join the simple things of life now. Um, before this, I, I didn't know anything else, but, what society or what I thought I could portray myself as what I, you know what, I couldn't be no no, no better than what I am now, but I actually can be much more. And just with this understanding and with love, you know, with love, because that's what Mama J did. She, she turned up with out no textbook, no program she just came literally just her flesh and bone and saw me for me you know not the criminal person that i or society pointed at us or or labeled us and sometimes we carried that label through 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 our years and just to know that I can do it, I can help my fellow prisoners that are coming out, that they can they can take their time and slowly integrate back into society with simplicity, literally the simple things, not not the big things. The big things you will get, you actually get, it. and that's the love. That's the love. The love. The love you will, you could never stop it you can't deny it and when it hits you you feel it <laughs> you know you're in that love you know you're in that love that love bubble and that's what the free principle gave me actually gave me i always thought i could find on a football pitch and i did that's how i did my sentence because when i was in a football pitch I would zoom out I would find like I'm not in prison I don't care the govs are not there I can still smell that grass I'm I'm actually there I'm I'm free for that period of time but I didn't think I could find it elsewhere apart from football but I actually found another <laughs> another another part of me that just loves just loves, just loves, and and I'm having fun with it, having fun with expressing how what I've been through can actually help someone else, and I never knew that can actually be powerful and actually be rewarding, and at the same time, be fun. <laughs> no, be actually fun, but. Cause I even asked my friend this, cause he, um, cause I like I said before this conference came up, I even asked my friend like, "What's simplicity to you?" And he asked, he, he, he's his answer was being in prison. I'm thinking, like, what do you mean by being in prison? He says, "Yeah, that like, being in prison, like it's a simple life." But I said, "But you're you're beating the whole object of simplicity because you're still being told what to do." <laughs> you know, we're just still being told what to do, but he says, Yeah, but it's simple, like everything's done for you. You're thinking, like, no, nah. you know what's so simple? Not even going in prison. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's even so simple because, like, I just, that, that was like just to get where people's mind was. Because I still, like, when, when, 
Wayne and Carlene asked me to do this. I thought that like, simplicity, what what is simplicity? But it only can be simplicity to the the holder. I can only it only could be what simplicity is to me. And I hope the simplicity that I see and you look can see something through that. Cause it's the little things, it's the little, little things that we take for granted that's actually that's they're the actually big things. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're the big things, the small things, they're actually the big things. Uh, and yeah, just knowing that, just 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 knowing that. And I'm and just being present, just being present and knowing because. It was simple because I got caught up not too long ago. Um, I think it was last week. And I had to phone. I had to phone someone on the on the panel. Um, and I made my thoughts so real. I made my thoughts so real. But when it's real to us, it's actually real. No one can't tell us nothing. No one can't tell us nothing. But he said something that was so true and so small that just made me that made me come back to the present and which was it's a fault see simplicity so it was a fault and I was gone and it, it felt at the time it felt so real I couldn't even get my words out of my mouth because yeah it felt so real but just to have someone on the other line telling me it was just a fault and it will take a while for for people to get the understanding that is it's your it's your mind and your thoughts that play trick on you. But I believe there's a difference between thinking and thoughts. Thoughts are right when you think and overthink. That's when the problem starts because you're trying to find solutions. You know what I mean? But when you just when you have a thought, yes, yeah, of course, a thought you can have that. Let it go. And he just brought me back to that. So thank you very much, Alfie. You brought me straight back to that and just knowing. And at that time, like I said, it was, couldn't get my words out. But it's little things like that against simplicity, just because I knew that, but just someone at the time to just point me back in that direction was very needed. Because I would have been still like, oh, up in my, not even up in my head, because I was just in a, in a bad, in a bad way. I was just in a bad way. My, I was, I was lost for words. My, I was, tears out and people say men can't cry but we're allowed to cry and that's another thing simplicity you know what I mean where we, we can cry well I'm allowed to cry what because I'm a man and I've got feelings I'm not allowed to cry no I'm allowed to cry I'm allowed to cry I'm allowed to cry I'm allowed to cry and before this understanding I would have kept it all inside I would have bottled up my feelings kept it on and not meant in not meant to but give him another problem, another person, my problems. And he just come out of love. He come with love. But because I'm in my little bubble, now everyone's getting it. Now everyone's getting it. You know, but yeah. So this understanding has helped me grow, 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 grow. And I'm still growing and I'm still learning. I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? You don't get perfect days, but I just, just knowing that, just being present allows me to come, just navigates back. This navigates back. This navigates back. So, um, yeah, I would like to know if anyone got anything from that. Um, yeah, well, you're getting a lot of love here. Love. Um, Liliana Bellini is here. And she's saying you're great, Chris. So lovely to hear you speak. If you know well, sending you love. You're expressing yourself. Beautiful, Chris. Wow, she says. And, um, and Alfie says, Love you, Chris, and he's got two hearts. We are, we are oh, my brother. That's what he says. And Michelle says, Chris, you're an inspiration. I'm so grateful that you're doing this. You are a gift. Um, and I love you. Love you too. Yeah. Love all of you. <laughs> But we're gonna we're gonna let you speak in a minute, and um, but I, I wanted to say that uh, so when, when we're talking about Mama J, we're talking about uh, Jacqueline Hollows, and Jacqueline started this series, the series two, mm -hmm. and um, and we're really moved. I mean, when when I first when we first sort of saw Jacqueline come on a stage in London at a conference, and it was just this woman 
with, you know, full of, you know, full of passion, but also, I, because we usually sit quite close to the stage, you could see her like like that with a piece of paper she had that she was about to read, and um, and um, and it's it's been amazing, you know, knowing Jacqueline and and seeing what Beyond Recovery has been doing, and then the beautiful thing is that like you, Chris and Alfie and Derek, we have Rob here. Um, Rob Hollows, who's uh, uh, Jacqueline's husband, and he's lovely, lovely, lovely. He's here to give you lots of love and support and, and to us. And um, the, the beautiful thing that you were saying that for me is incredible is uh, once once uh, Jacqueline and Liliana, we had Liliana as well here, um, we have uh, David Saunders. Mm -hmm. um, so once it was passed on to you guys, like once you heard something, because I guess you came to that course, and I mean, I don't know what your experience was, Chris, but I, heard, I, I, I may guess that you didn't sit there and you were like, yeah, of course, that makes total sense. That's, that's changed my life. I guess it took some time for you to hear something. And then once people started hear something there, now you are brothers now your siblings now you're sort of like holding each other and passing it on to others and um so what happened when you first heard something about uh, what mama j was some was saying what are you doing? <laughs> oh we can't hear you why can't we hear you don't no, don't mute yourself don't worry you can keep yours you're allowed to have yours yours uh, unmuted Chris, all the time. Can you mute yourself? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. So you never mute yours because you are the star here. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you say, I don't know what happened, but say you went into a course or something and yeah, I've done I've done a few courses. Um, I've done a few courses. Like I said, I, I, I the only place I thought I could find a bit of peace and quiet was on the football pitch. So the only reason why I'd done the courses was probably just to get my soul at the time, you know? And um, she was very attractive at the time as well. The Italian goddess, she's around somewhere. Have you said her name? She, so I thought like, yeah, why not? You know, like, let me, let me you know, let me go. Rob, it's a lucky man. <laughs> you know, so like when Joe's, I don't want to be, you know, so, but it was, it was going back, going back and that feeling, that feeling and going back to listening because I, I thought I was, I'm 32, I thought I was listening. I thought I was listening, but I wasn't. I was finishing the people, people sentencing or trying to speak for them to just get what I want to get out of because... Someone someone pointed it at, that out to me today. Just they were on the calls. They were on the calls this earlier on today um, at six. So when they were talking, it's like that's when uh, intuition kicks in for me that for this re particular reason, you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, listening. And that was once I got to understand that, Ra, I actually was not listening. And then I'm actually listening to myself. That kind of drawed me in. Because for years I thought I was listening, but I wasn't listening. So just to start listening and listening to myself. Yeah, that was that was the big wake up call, really. That was that was the changing point for me. Because I thought I was literally listening and I wasn't. I love what you said then, Chris, because I had exactly the same experience. Before I came across this, I thought I was listening. And as you say, I, I was I was trying to kind of think of a reply before the person finished. And I remember when I was doing um, the Inside Space course with Ian Watson, <coughs> He, he got us to do an exercise, like an A, B, C exercise. Two people had to listen, one had to talk. 
And that was the first time I think that I really listened. And it, it's it's weird now thinking about it because I don't think I could do anything else. I don't think I could go back to listening how I used to listen. Because you just can't. As soon as you know the understanding and you know what the gift of listening, you really do start to to hear beauty in what people say. You really do. You really do. And that goes back to the title of the show, Simplicity. You see, look, like simplicity. Mm-hmm. It's the simple simplicity. Yeah, and I and I love it because you were before we started. You were talking about uh, a little bit about uh, football and your passion, and um, and uh, I was saying like, um, well, I'm from Argentina originally, and we have really good football players, and we're next to Brazil, and again, so we have tons and tons of land of like sort of free green plain land that uh you know here there's a lot more population and and it's uh sort of different and uh and it's, it's sort of like warm and nice and you know you can play pretty much all the time it's not raining all the time or things like that and so uh in very uh, poor areas uh, but also in whatever medium society, whatever, and then rich areas, everybody plays football. And what happens is pretty much nobody has a, you know, nobody has a label of being the rich kid or or the poor kid or whatever. It's just just they, it just kids get together and play football. And also, I remember that my friends from school would let me play football. And another and another friend that we used to go there and play with the with the guys, um, and um, and that was the thing. It was just like it could be just one t-shirt on one side and one t-shirt on the other side, and that would make a goal already. And if you didn't have a football, it was just a uh, just just pieces of um, what do you call it like uh, elastic band? No, like no, like um, rugs. So you would make your football out of rags. You would just tie knots. Oh, I have to tell you that trick. <laughs> so you would tie knots until you actually had like a football. And uh, so that would make a football. So many of the guys that you've seen becoming uh, great footballers, the tricks and the, the things that they learned and and came from that simplicity, came from hours and hours of just playing and, and no, there's the, there was no better joy than just doing that. And, you know, and everybody was equal. And, and um, of course they will fight with each other, whatever, you know, <laughs> but it was like all, all very, and, and that's, that's where uh, a lot of very gifted players have come from. And sometimes when they start to struggle, it's because they forget that simplicity. They start getting in the heads, and, you know, now they have to get in the zone. And, and, and before they didn't need to think about the zone. They would just get out of the house, knock on their f- friends and go like, hey, Juan, come play, oh, we're going. And that was the zone, that's it, right? So, uh, um, so I love that connection that you have with that. That um, it's it's an equalizer, and that's what we when we talk about the principles, and that um, it doesn't matter really if you know about the principles or you understand the principles or not in that sense, because the principles are everybody mm. works for everybody. It just it doesn't matter if you know about them. You learn, no, but if you if you learn how your experience um, sort of happens, as you know, as, as Chris was saying, and he learned to listen and open his heart, and you know, we have here 
Oh, Mama J is here. So <laughs> the, 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 the Young Recovery family, Derek is coming in. Um, they're coming in. Uh, you know, so once, once you start seeing from that place, and I don't know what happened for you, but like everybody starts being, I, I remember hearing you with the with, with the Young Recovery family saying that even you started seeing the the um, the prison guards in a different way, mm -hmm. addressing them in a different way. So did that change for you, Chris? Like for um, yeah, you start seeing them as just human beings because now they want it. They're interested of getting some of that, whatever it was at the time, because they will see Mama J, Liliana, uh, who was it? Who else was there? The other Jackie, Jackie Moses. Everyone's bubbly. Everyone's happy, and it's like we're in prison, but everyone's happy, and they're happy. You know, <laughs> they just got them curious, like why? Why are they so happy? And it did actually bring some of my relationship with other officers that we well I was cool with anyway, but it, it brought it a, a bit more tight because they more they were curious, like they were, now they actually want to know me, like because they see a little change now they feel a bit more open to actually speak. So it has a ripple effect, you know, that definitely has a ripple effect. Maybe you don't see it at the time, but once you do start changing, other people around you see that and yeah, you as long as you stay grounded and stay in the moment, you your endless opportunities are there for you. I know we have Lee that wants to ask a question, but um also so I guess that well I don't I, I know there's a dream which is to pass it on to younger generations and there's something you're doing already to make that happen, that you have a project already going on and um and the idea is, is if i understood right it's like it's sort of like teaching it to maybe young people in the community so so kids before they maybe think of going on a on a path that may uh you know that they don't know anything different than than maybe the the reality that you that you had and others had that uh took them to then maybe go to prison or, or do certain things, but are you, that you want to pass it, pass this on, so. Uh, that's one of the things, yes, we want to pass on, and especially the prisoners that are coming out, the young ones, especially the young ones that are coming out, to, to show them if the free principles not in their prison, to, so we can grab them and let them know there is, there's other ways, there's, if you do like making money, there's a million of ways of making money. You know what I'm trying to say? So if there's 99 ways to die, there's definitely a 99 million ways to make money. You know what I mean? So just to let them know there's other choices. So like, literally that like, there's other choices just to make it simple for yourself. And sometimes we, like I did, I forgot to have fun. And that was for me, like I said, was football was fun for me. So when Jackie Liliana was trying to take me out of these like, tell me, I'll put myself in these groups, but at the time, that's where I could say I could find my little savant, like, my little bubbles of, of peace, you know? But to just know that, like, she put him in another direction to say it was all me. I had it in me. So to just let people know that, like, it, it, it's in you. It's in you to just have more self-love, you know, to let go of all the judgment, let go of what he say, she say, and just, just, just enjoy you. Just enjoy being you. Just enjoy being you. Just enjoy being you. Because I'm, we, I forgot to have fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? I forgot to have fun. I forgot to have fun. Yeah, I forgot to have fun. <laughs> well, we're here to have fun. So uh, we're gonna mute people mute themselves, and mm -hmm. um, so we have Lee with his very patiently with his hand up. Um, so hopefully, Lee, now you can. There you go. Uh, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. No. And um, 
when you were talking, Chris, about Mama J, I'm thinking, what the heck are you talking about? Out of second chance or something? <laughs> yeah. I, now I understand, so I apologize. But I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mama J. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but Chris, I, I loved what you said. And um, I, it's almost embarrassing, my question. You might, I'm hoping you'll understand. I've been in the principles for quite a while. Well, again, relatively. Shouldn't say quite a while. Um, I've been in there maybe four or five years. So to me, that's quite a while. <laughs> but I learned it a long time ago and just didn't, didn't even listen about it. But the, the reason I, I love, and, and that's the key word. I love the fact that you coming from, I mean, obviously, I don't know your background, but from what you've said, coming from that kind of background, I'm so impressed that you've used that word love freely. And I, and I mean that very respectfully. It, it, I'm impressed with that. Because, um, see, I, I can use appreciation. I can use the zone. I, I understand that feeling. And I understand to a point the feeling of love. Obviously, I have compassion for people. I have that. And I want to take that out. And for some reason... Obviously, it's semantics, right? I have a block with that. And as soon as I know I'm going to say how, I know that that's a block, right? <laughs> because like you said, simplicity. So I, I don't know if you can answer that. Was there a, like a moment? I mean, you even said, you know, men can cry. I was brought up, men don't cry. What the hell are you talking about, you know? I, uh, there's just no way. And men don't use that word love. I, I know that's stupid. I know that, oh, okay, reframe that. I know that that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an inbuilt there. There's an inbuilt sort of machismo. Is that a word? Yeah. Um, there's an inbuilt, you know, um, idea, even though I'm, I'm, I'm breaking it, breaking it, breaking it. I still have that semantic barrier about using the word, or at least um, truthfully using the word. Let's put it that way. Because when you say it, I believe it. When I say it, I don't freaking believe it. That's disgraceful. I'm, I'm getting enough now. <laughs> but, can I just answer one thing to that? Just one thing, one thing. I believe the way how I got it, I think you just got so much attachment to that word. Yeah. Yeah, you got so much attachment to that word. Let go of them attachments and you might start seeing it for what it is. And that, that's it. It's like, I, I totally agree with you. And so um, where do I get this let go business? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got it with you. Just, just let it go. Wussah, wussah, wussah. Look, you're, 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 you're in the perfect place right now. Just sit back when we when we finish. Just look at that view. Just look for the view for that, that for like a sixty seconds or something. Just enjoy that. Just enjoy that. Let go of everything, and I guarantee you, you will see something that you will love there. That's true. Yeah. I love it. I love hey, it. Hey, 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 <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ready, <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I love it. By the way, I can almost see Cuba. I can almost hey, see Cuba. I'm, I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I, I'm coming. I'm coming. I give you an invite. Say no more. Say no more. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I really appreciate that. Love you too, Lee. Love you too. Love, love you too, Lee. <laughs> oh so good um so oh, thank you lee that was wonderful and i think that answers so many questions to so yeah. many people yeah 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 i think it's amazing how how men in particular are built are brought up when they're younger to believe that they're not allowed to cry or they're not allowed to show any kind of emotion. It, it's really, 
and it, it's for me it, it's one of those things that before coming across this I was exactly the same I was just like no nah, I'm not allowed to do that I'm, you know it shows weakness it's this it's that and then now I'm just like you know what there's times I could be talking to Carolina and I'll get emotional because the amount of love that I get from her or even just the fact that I know I'm being listened to is incredible. <laughs> I was just thinking that. So last year, Wayne came from to Argentina twice for the first time. So we didn't just bring him once, we brought him twice to get him used to it. And um, one of the things is that everybody kisses everybody. Oh, good. So, <laughs> you see? <laughs> so basically all men women men and men they all kiss you kiss hello you kiss goodbye you kiss like if you get up in the morning and you're about to have breakfast it's like good morning mwah, 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 mwah. hello how are you i'm going to the shop so okay i'll see you later mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and people just hug and you know so you know now maybe things may change but um with COVID, but uh, so basically Wayne was introduced to this massive amount of men kissing him and hanging him and, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting how in one culture, it means mm -hmm. just, just like, you know, saying hi or a high five or, you know, or just when I came here, for me, it was so difficult like I would see people that were really close friends and were like at a distance, like if we had COVID like 20 years ago, and we're like, okay, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, it was nice to see you. Okay, yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> so you know, it's it's interesting how mm. we, you know. It's as you say, it's different cultures. Yeah, and different and, yeah. sort of perceptions. But mm. sometimes, as we know, sometimes we, like, people say God, and Chris, you may have found this in, in, in prison and with other people. Sometimes you may say God, and people go like, oh, wait a minute. No, I, I don't believe in God. Or And then you say love, and it's accepted. Or you say mm. the... You know that intelligence behind everything the one that say i remember liliana saying this like the one that healed my finger after i cut it that one that so like um some people have a touch we all have attachments to certain things mm. and uh and there's sometimes but i love lee what you said and i think it was it was so stupid at all i think it was so no. It takes a lot of courage to actually say that. Um, and uh, we have Michelle here. So, hello, Michelle. Were you going to ask a question? <laughs> oh, hello. Um, I didn't know if there was two Michelles there for a minute. <laughs> no, you are the one. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I, Chris, I know you were really nervous about doing this, but... Um, I, I like I've got this massive like I get a feeling in my chest of that like connection with everybody and I don't know if everybody else is feeling it but like the love is literally coming out of my phone um from all you lovely pixels and <laughs> yeah so I, I really hope you've enjoyed it you seem to have like settled in and like had some fun and I love that I I, I really love that and I, I, I loved what you said about like the, the title, the simplicity. And it just, it made me think about today. And like, li I, I literally had to go out today and pop down to the pharmacy and uh, the local shop. And I know the ladies in there and just going in there and having a chat. That was just amazing. I came back from that and I was like literally on cloud nine just after having those conversations 
And what you said about um, football as well, it's something sort of dropped in at a bit of a download, I think. But um, yeah, I just, I heard that life is a level playing field. Mm. You know, there are no labels. There are no, we're not all these things we make ourselves out to be. And yeah, just have fun and... just be you know be you and I've really really struggled with being me I've, I've been a people pleaser and I've done things out of obligation rather than want to do them and oh what a load of old rubbish but I feel like um I I mean Chris I don't know how maybe you can speak to this but I feel free Mm, I mm. really I feel so free and it's I don't know it's just yeah it's just it's just love it's it's love and I learned a lesson yesterday a really big lesson for me um there's someone who's really really dear really dear to me that and we, we had a bit of a misunderstanding and um we cleared it up yesterday and I'm really, really glad that we did. But, you know, be, before yesterday, and it, it's, it's really struck me quite hard that I had this attachment to perfect. And, you know, if things weren't going right in a relationship and you know, there was a bit of a misunderstanding or whatever, I had this thing that you couldn't get past that and that you couldn't, you know, have a conversation and then just still be in love with that person, whatever kind of love that might be. And I know that to be true now. I know that you can, you know, have those conversations and you can still have that love, that same love, actually probably a deeper love in your heart for that person than you've ever had before. And I'm going to say sorry, not sorry, because Michelle's crying again. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, it's... I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm looking for you to speak to the... I'm there with you, though, Mish. I'm there with you. I know. I know you are, darling. I know you are. Look, I haven't left ya. I know. I'm here with ya. I went even through McGla- the same things with you, babe. I'm with you, with ya. Big cuddle. Even- oh, bless your heart. Even my glasses have steamed up now, look. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know if I've got a question, to be honest. I just wanted to share that. And I just... Honestly, you're such a wonderful person. You've got such a gift. You've got so much to share. And I admire you beyond any description that I can give it because what you've been through and what you've done and what you've learned and what you've taken from all of that has shaped you and it's shaping so many people around you. Like that you, you know, you spoke about the ripple effect and that you, you know, you don't even know what it's doing. But um, like just your sheer presence on this call is that's affecting everybody in the most beautiful way. And yeah, so just know who you are, my love, honestly, know who you are because you're amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're amazing. Thank you. So I can't even remember what my question was. It's gone now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> love you, Michelle. I love you too. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and, I think um, I'm going to put you two in a room. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a boat. <laughs> Oh my Either that God. or a bucket. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> when you said a room, I was thinking, oh my god, it's a padded cell. <laughs> but it, yeah, it needs some drainage, some heavy, some heavy drainage, please. <laughs> we need a colander, really. <laughs> <laughs> and a toilet. And a toilet so that we can have our inspiration and our insights. <laughs> and a bath and a bath, obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess really a padded bathroom is what we need. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh, see, you can laugh even when you're crying, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh. oh Chris, we are so sorry, you know, because you're a serious person and we <laughs> You're having fun, that's what it is. You're having fun. Come on now, let it all out, let it all out, let it all out. <laughs> so, Firas has a question. <laughs> you can uh, mute yourself, Firas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna put my hand down after Michelle. I was like, I can't beat that. <laughs> uh, but thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much, Christopher, for I mean, lots of love to your brother for sharing all of that. Um, I just wanted to share, actually, not really much of a question. Two things you you made me uh, realize from everything that you've been through and coming out of it, just being so happy and alive. And and like Lee said, saying the word love without meaning anything by it, by not feeling awkward by it. It was, I mean, I got the same feeling Lee said. I was like, wow, I wish I could use the word love like you do. Um, especially going through what you've gone through, um, we we all have our different experiences. So it's not a it's not a matter of you know this is harder than that. But I struggled a lot with things that happened earlier on in my life, but kind of soldiered through them. So it was a matter of accepting them. Uh, I'm spiritual. I'm religious. So it's kind of ingrained in us to this is what happens. It's all for the good. So wasn't a matter of not accepting it, but uh, but actually coming out of something like that, just with so much love, made me see that there's a whole deeper level that uh, I would love to get to, <laughs> uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, so that's inspiring. So I thought it was like, yeah, great. I'm on the level of acceptance. That's beautiful. You know, you can actually come out of it with, with love for yourself. I mean, besides other people, uh, not not feeling um, guilty for doing this or wasting that time or living, you know, those years in a certain way, because I keep catching myself still saying I wasted, and it's like, oh, no, I didn't waste, you know, that's what got me to where I'm at. So thank you so much for for sharing that. Um, and the other one was the quiet, the, the listening. Um, I got a little something a little Different. Well, it's related, but the listening reminded me of the quiet. When you mentioned the football, um, I deal with a lot of self-doubt and fear and, and, and anxiety and just overthinking, which what I love under coming to the 3P understanding is has helped me realize that and it's quieting down. But uh, a few years ago, I started, the thing that started me to quiet with that is swimming and then diving and then meditation but uh, it always felt like I had to go there to be quiet. I had to go there to, to, to actually hear everything. I love the swimming because it was forced, like you're underwater, you can't open your mouth, you can't hear other people. Uh, so it was like a forced meditation underwater, but then it was like, oh, I can't, I'm, I have to be in my thinking until I get the chance to go and swim or have to be in my thinking until I can go and dive. So I didn't believe that I could feel quiet in my head without those things. Uh, and what you said about finding that quiet, being able to listen to yourself and, and just be quiet with yourself mm -hmm. without the football, or in my case, without these other things, uh, is beautiful as a beautiful reminder. So thank you so much for reminding me of those two things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I'll first thank you so much. Um, I What you're saying is exactly what we do this series, not because we 
we ever go out in a way <laughs> of uh, living a life without self-doubting or worrying or asking, you know, um, who am I to do this or uh, or uh, why should I be loved or um, and uh, something actually we're talking with Wayne and and um, <clears throat> and Chris the other day, you know, like uh, why me? Either the why me or why this happened to me or why is this happening to me or more the other day was like why me why would somebody want me and um and the three of us were saying like yeah i know that feeling of not understanding yeah, yeah. what why what well we feel separated from others or or we feel um when, when we name it how to connect with humans, we knew that we are already connected, but that <laughs> that that there's there's this thing that we all feel that is this connection in a way. And um and since you came into like the calls, I I personally feel so connected to you, Ferris. And every time you talk. They're like, well, I'm, it's like, I'm not there yet. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, he's so there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like this beautiful, you know, this beautiful place where you talk from. And, and um, there's so much beauty in what you say. Uh, and again, it's like, we, we could, we just met. And I feel that you are yeah. somebody we have known for a long time. Mm. so thank you so much thank you thank you um and <laughs> here on the on the uh, on the chat rob uh a bit early said uh hey alfie saying hello to you alfie hello thank you and um rob says chris you're <coughs> amazing and so present speaking the truth big love and liliana said i'd love your answer on love amazing reminder and, um, absolutely yeah uh, so how are we doing Chris you doing good doing good you're feeling the love feeling the love feeling the connection <laughs> we're in the zone <laughs> we're feeling the love okay let's see if there's somebody else that wants to share or ask or say something And here on the in the call we have I think Derek some needs to do stuff. Derek, have you yeah Derek? Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Yay, hello. <laughs> Hi Carolina. <laughs> Hi Wayne. Hello, how are you? Hi Chris. I'm good, you know. I'm good. I'm just listening in. Oh, I've been burst into joy then, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's such a good feeling just coming on the call, man. It's just just brilliant, man. Just just a little on Chris, like amazing Chris, man. Be with you on that this journey, and see you where now. It's like just proud, just proud to know that not even you, we can just share from a place where the same like what um I think is far out, and Lee was saying that word that we throw about. They think it's easy, but before I got this understanding, that word was a difficult word that only came out on special occasions uh, and, and when it came out it got it got polished off and put straight away put back away straight away but now I find myself sometimes I relate myself to like a hippie because I see myself I feel myself just saying that word so much but it's different when you would say it before from an intellectual place when you say it now from the heart and and you feel that word you it, it protects you I always say this it you feel not vulnerable by it, but you feel protected by it. 
And just 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 having that knowledge there just makes I can tell and speak for myself, make me feel so strong when I use that word. And when you when you guys were talking, I, I remember when it used to be like that for me. But it is like two different times. Like like then I used to think of it, and now it's just water off a duck's back, that word. Because I just feel it so much and I know it can heal and cure and break through so many barriers and so many, so many things. So yeah, love is definitely the theme and I love banding that word about now because it just shows it rep, show more represents who I am now or who I've always been, but who I can see, who I can see in myself that just, just love, just pure love. And if that was to make up 100% of me, I know that I'll be the happiest person on the planet because there won't be no room for anything else, just pure love. And yeah, if I could give out some of that and accept some of that, then I'm made up. I'm made up. But yeah, Chris, like I said, seeing you here from where we've come from, it's it's just amazing. It's just don't amazing. forget we come back from the kitchens, you know, from the kitchens. Yeah, the kitchens, the kitchens, the talking kitchen, rubbish. The Never, yeah, from the kitchens. Just to break down everybody, I met Chris when we was inside and um, we was both working in the kitchens. We both had no understanding of the principles. We were no both understanding, sorry, no understanding. <laughs> we was both in there talking rubbish about how the outside world was affecting our inside and that was all their fault and this person's fault. <laughs> and yeah. never, never our fault. And we both went off on our separate ways and found the principles. And then, yeah, now we're here now together on this journey. And it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful to see what he's blossomed into. And yeah, proud of you, Chris, man. That's what I'll put that in. Proud of you, mate. Love, bro. <laughs> oh, my. Wilson is here as well, and Alfie is here. And so, uh, Basically, we're going to have everybody in this series. Like right? the whole beyond recovery is is going to be in in um, in in the following series, and as we keep going, but you know, we want all of you. Um, and uh, the love that the love that I see between you guys, mm -hmm. um, I have not seen in a long time. Um, it's something that has nothing to do with, I don't know, like uh, anything. I just, we were in a, on one of the uh, Beyond Recovery talks on, on the Monday and, um, and, and I was saying to you and, and, and to all of you, and we were saying like, it's the closest I heard people talk to when I hear Sydney Banks in the videos. Um, there's this uh, thing about who are you and who I am. There's just like false mm. down. Yeah. For me, I, I see all of you from Beyond Recovery and it's kind of like, it's like you you're in the army and you come out of the army and you've still got that kind of camaraderie together it's it's so beautiful and amazing to see it really is oh, <laughs> <laughs> mama, mama jace is voguing <laughs> come on jackie open that mic i i i'm i'm oh. <laughs> i'm blown away the, the guys are amazing. I'm so, so humbled. And I, I, I haven't got the words. Um, I've just come off another call with Chris and Wilson, um, with uh, Wilson and Derek. And then to hear Chris. It, it, they're, they're just amazing. I mean, I, I could never have imagined. And I think maybe this is what I want to say is that 
we just do what we do what we know we do what we think that we should do we do what we're we're guided to do and and we have no idea who that's going to impact or how that's going to impact or what the ripple effects are and i i just see that you just got to keep showing up with a full heart with with whatever you've got whatever you've got it's good enough and because it's not us it's not me it's coming through me it's not it's not the individual it's beyond all of that it reaches where it needs to reach and you know these these beautiful beautiful powerful men um my heart's bursting with with love and respect and and i'm proud and i, I want to cuddle them <laughs> <laughs> i want to cuddle them now <laughs> and big kisses on their faces um just um amazing chris amazing and you look so dapper <laughs> Proper, 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 proper. Yeah, just yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, lost your words now. <laughs> it's um, like we're all part of the same heart. All of us, you know. We we like when I hear the boys speak, I see the oneness. 100%. I see that we I see how the essence of life and how we're connected and and it's like our hearts beat together. And it, it it's just incredible. Hey guys. Hi Will. Sorry, it's a bit loud where I am. I'm just about I'm in Stratford right now, but um I really just wanted to say that I can't I can't take all the praise right now. I can't take it. I feel like I can't take it because it forget about us, right? And just to just to know that there were some ladies out there and some fellas out there that said, you know what? I found this pre principles and it's beautiful. Let me share it to some prisoners. Let me share it to some prisoners. You know that one thought right there? Let me share it to some prisoners. Do you know what I mean? That was a one little thought, right? And I feel like I've been sleeping for years because it's like these ladies came into an environment that everybody's putting on a mask, a persona, and no one's willing to drop that. That is a hard place, especially for, for, for some beautiful ladies that they look fragile, but they've got this strong, biggest heart. Do you know what I mean? You would never, like, if I was judging and I had my judging brain on, I would never know that these ladies could change our lives. Do you know what I mean? And the fact that they did and having no comparison, they, they didn't know what I've been through. They didn't know what any of us been through. They didn't know why I was in prison. They didn't ask why I was in prison. <laughs> that, do you know what? That, I only thought about that the other day. They never asked why we was there. They didn't care. <laughs> they, did, they didn't even care why we was in prison. Do you know what I mean? And even that, the first thing somebody asked you in prison, oh, why are you here, mate? <laughs> you know what I mean? The fact they didn't ask us that, like, why are you here? It, it's, it's crazy, do you know what I mean? And I feel like just the thought from Jacqueline, Lily, Gary, Alan, Susan, there's there's more names, money, pay, just the thought of these people and them coming together and feeling the same thing. I feel like it freed me and it freed the boys. Because I knew the boys from before we knew this stuff. Beautiful thing to me as well. I knew the boys before this. 
before we knew about the three principles, I knew the boys. And it's like, I still know the boys after the three principles. And it's just, I see the effect that it's created in everybody's life. And it's beautiful, man. And it all stemmed from one thought of, let me go help these people. Let me, let me just see if I can show them. And look where we all are now. Man. Look where we all are now. So all the praise that we're getting, all I think about was, no, nah, like, these ladies <laughs> with the incredibly huge hearts freed us. I'm getting praised, but no, no, you need to think about <laughs> the fact that these three ladies, four ladies, they just, they came into, to me, I, I can't stop talking about it. It's amazing. Every time I think about it, my brain goes off the charts and it's just crazy. So I'm going to shout that, but my love goes out. Oh, that's... Chris, that, that's... <laughs> Carolina, that's the answer to Lee. Like, how could they not talk about love? <laughs> how, how could they, when there was so much love, you know, when there was there's so much love from us and, and we found love back? Love begets love. Love begets simplicity. Goes back to simplicity. Hundred percent, Chris. Literally, literally. Well, I was running around the wing like like a headless chicken. Mama J and the rest of the team just told me how to keep it simple. Come out of your head and look at life. Look at life. Look at life. And that's what I did, and I'm still doing it now. So every day as it comes. So thank you everyone for bringing us here. Beyond truth. So whoever don't, whoever's this is their first time, next week, Monday, Beyond Truth, 6 o'clock, for anyone that hasn't been there, the Fab Five, myself, Doctor, Cupid, Derek, the Mechanic, the Wizard, Alfie, oh, hey. yeah, the Mechanic's Omar, Omar Wilson. So 6 o'clock, whoever hasn't experienced that wonderful world of wisdom entrepreneurs with the Fab Fives, please come along. Show your love, show your support. <laughs> I think there should be a I think there should be a, a, a weed program or something mm. that uh Chris you should look I'm afraid I can't do that for you okay Siri what? <laughs> just, just, Siri, just Siri answered um it, it, feels oh. now, it feels now integrated dear Siri yes we love you um so <laughs> um can you imagine you know when you were saying that you were sitting in the room in this in this courses and these people were coming in so happy so happy and you were like oh, why are you so happy and today you are sitting here so happy so happy and with so much love and then you have these people here on this side and we're going like, how is he so happy? Why is he so happy? <laughs> <laughs> so I can imagine that because uh, Michelle was asking uh, if you were glad that you did this tonight and would you hesitate if someone asked you to speak again? I wouldn't hesitate at all. But I always get like, listen, I, it's, it's once again, it's part of, I, I only can speak for myself, innit? Like, I do get nervous, isn't it? But it's like I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my my goals and my ambition and things like that. So sometimes I think I don't get it right, but I know I'm getting it right. But that's my my insecurities that I battle with. But anytime that someone else asks me to speak, and if I know I can help them along the way, that can just change a little shift in their life. That to, to just make it better for them, I'm always down for that. I'm always down for that. And the people that helped me are on this screen here. So Liliana, I can finally see you. The Queen Goddess, Mama J, thank you. Everyone knows, Papa knows, everyone. So <laughs> everyone else made it po possible for, for me to do that. So I would never hesitate. I would always get nervous. That's just me, innit? Just getting nervous, getting in my head. Everyone gets in the head. But I know 
I'm getting in my head to come back out of my head. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's all. That's all. So yeah, Michelle, if you're ever there, you're asking me to speak somewhere. Come on. It's a date. Where we going? Uh, speaking as Chris's agent, um, <laughs> he is speaking again at the Viva event, which is next weekend. So if people want to look that up, the Viva event, all the boys are speaking at that. There you go. That's another one for you in your diary. But every week, Monday, that should be on your diary now every week. Just every week, Monday, just come. Mondays, just come through. Come through. So basically, you have uh, you have free pass to always post on how to connect with humans. So you know that you can always post you know, beyond thought, beyond recovery, um, beyond whatever you want to call it, you can come and post uh, in a group and uh, we're a big family. And um, so I, I, we put today the, the link to Viva and uh, that's an event that uh, um, started uh, like three or four years ago in Spain. And uh, three or four months. Maybe even more than that. Yeah. yeah. And Sheila Masan and Sue Panskowitz, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing her surname, which are so lovely, started it as a, as a bit of a, um, well, if we, you know, get like people to come, have a bit of a holiday, but also it's like having fun and talking about the principles. And, you know, and some people started going there and, and it started really small, like a bit of a dream a bit of a dream, like the dream that Jacqueline had. And she went like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And a bit of a dream like we had, and we went here, yeah, we're going to do this. And a bit of a dream. And then, you know, you started doing the talks and and it's happening. So, um, and and it seems we're, we're going to make Lee cry. You okay, Lee? Yeah, he's saying it. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to cry. So uh, you have permission for, for Chris, especially. Um, so uh, yeah, absolutely. Like any events uh, that you want to post or share, or we are here hundred mm, percent for you. Thank you. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, and and the funny thing is that though we have met Jacqueline and I, I don't, don't, did we meet Rob at the conference? I, he said, yeah, we did. We we feel so close that sometimes mm. you stop knowing who you met in person and who you haven't. Yeah. But apart from that, I think, and, and David Saunders, I think we haven't, and well, Liana, obviously. And Alfie. Uh, and Alfie. We haven't really met in person. And um, I can't wait for the moment I to, I don't know, I will cover myself in plastic bags and I'll go and just give you a big hug. And <laughs> I wonder where that was going then. <laughs> yeah, that is all right. <laughs> <laughs> so anything you want to post and everything you want to advertise. And so um, I, I, know, I know you have a manager, but um, so if people wanted to, to find you and talk to you, Chris, is that possible? Can they... Yeah, at this moment you've got to speak to my agent <laughs> <laughs> then Chris has um, a Facebook page called Beyond yeah. Truth yeah. Um, I'm only being his agent because he's forgetting to say everything yeah so, <laughs> so Chris, Chris is part of um, um, the Beyond Truth boys so uh, you can find him on there and obviously on Beyond Recovery as, as well so um, those are the best ways to find him, I think. So what yeah. are you doing on the Wednesdays? Pardon? What are you doing on the Wednesdays? Um, so currently we're running um, a virtual impact programme on a Wednesday evening, which is now closed because we're on week five. But we will be running one next year and um, the boys uh, are running that. And, uh, and, and maybe Chris by then as well. Um, so yeah, there'll be another one of those in January, and we've got all sorts of plans for for different things, haven't we, guys? <laughs> exciting things. How exciting! Can I can I borrow Rob to to ask Rob? Would you 
would I would like I would like to know what it was like when this beautiful woman at some point said, you know what? I don't know how it happened, but it's like, you know, you know what? I thought I'll go into prisons to talk about principles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you if you wanted to know the the original dream, yeah. So Jacqueline had this great vision that she'd be somewhere like in Hawaii or or some other other exotic place, speaking to corporate clients. And earning a lifestyle, which I went, oh, that sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm on board with that. Little did we realize that the journey would take us to a very grubby, dark prison, which what it seemed like at the time, to be the most beautiful, exotic place that you could ever wish to be in. And that's that's where it went. And that journey is still continuing. And these guys are just a part of that. And we just love what we're doing. Just the impact that it's creating and the ripple effect is just immense. And the vision of the vision of Jacqueline and Beyond Recovery five years ago, it just manifests it as each day goes by. And I'm really proud of what Jacqueline's done. And I'm really love and proud of the guys that are part of our team now. You know, um, we, we see them literally as family. Um, so, we recently had some work done in our house and we were like, oh, when the boys come around, we need more sofas. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we bought more sofas <laughs> because when they're all here, there's not enough space for them to sit. <laughs> and there's some pictures of you all celebrating something or like you were all like playing like this games yeah. or something in your living room, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if it wasn't for COVID, they'd be here more often. Yeah. Trust me. We're going to need to expand as well to have you all down here on holidays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rob, that was so beautiful. And the love. No. Yeah. That, that for me is just it's so moving to, to just feel the love coming off of everyone on this call. And <laughs> all you need is love. Na, 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 na. All you need is love. Na, 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 na. All you need is love. Uh -uh. Love is all you need. We have the whole Zoom thing going. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, was it was it okay? Do you think? Great. It was great. It was great. Thank you. Thank you. We love you so much. There are no words no. to say. We we just say, Chris, would you be here? And we would like you to um, to to close series two. And you know, we'll have um, Jacqueline Hollow, so Mama J uh, at the beginning, and you will you know close it and then we'll have you know we have a lot of beyond recovery on this series and we're gonna keep having a absolutely. lot because we absolutely love you absolutely. um and you just went like yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. and then what happened is that then we said well we'll meet with you um at seven and what would you like to call this the episode and, and chris was like okay what about the other ones well, no, it's just you. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. 
and then you 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 trusted us you didn't know us and you just went okay well let's have a few talks about it and then and you just completely opened your heart and trusted us and, yeah. and for that we we are so forever uh in your life you're part of a family and um and uh we're gonna have to start i'm gonna have to start knitting for that new nephew that i'm gonna have mm-hmm. um, <laughs> 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 i'm making one of these uh, uh ball made of uh of, of what was it of, right. of rags <laughs> No problemo. <laughs> no problemo. Let's give everybody some love. There we go. Love, love, love. What? Yeah. Any final thoughts? Anything you want to say? Anybody else wants to say? Um... Can I just ask, you, you know, you said, Chris, about Mondays. How do we get in? What is, where do we go to find out about that? Facebook, I believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, the the <laughs> director managers here. Uh, 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 Derek Cupid. <laughs> Where's Cupid? Cupid. Where's Cupid? You can get. You can get, you, can, you can get the link if you go onto um, our Facebook page, which is Wisdom Entrepreneurs. Wisdom Entrepreneurs. Okay. Yeah, Excellent. our Facebook page. Oh, oh, you just put the link in the you. group. Yeah. 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 So uh, Jacqueline just right, goes good. there, and um, and anyway, we will we will put it underneath, and um, and it will be in the group. It will be in the in the how to connect with humans group, like constantly. Anyway, uh, I'd just like to say myself quickly, Carolina. Yes, yeah, see, absolutely, yeah. Uh, thank you again. A lot of people are talking about how we were this, how we were discovering, and what Jacqueline, like Omar said, the thought that she had to bring it to prisoners and then we've got it and then we've come out now. But it's people like you that give us the opportunity to to help spread or to help share what, what we've seen and what we've been through. So a lot of love goes back to you guys as well for giving us such a big platform and and just seeing us like, like what Omar said, it all comes back to because even though we're out and people still might look on us, oh, they've been there, so they look at them. You guys look at us and you don't see none of that. You just see, you just see, when I'm in that love mode, that's all you see. And when I look at you, that's all I see back. And just that little brief exchange that we had the other night, that's the first time me, us guys have even corresponded like that, without just that little brief exchange, it was all love. It was all funny. Couple of gifts went back and forth and I was just lying down, because it was late at night. I was lying down in my bed, just laughing my head off. And I just said, yeah, when you asked me, and I said, yeah. And after the election, I said, yeah, this is going to be fun. Then you text, yeah, let's, let's just have fun. And I just thought, wow, wow, it's, it's connection like that. What makes me have so much faith in, in, in the future and what I'm doing. Just seeing two people like you just, just giving us that thing. And it means so much to me personally. So just want to say thank you. And I see the love and I feel the love. And we are the love because we share the love. And let's spread the love. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna we're all gonna drown Lee in love. <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> and for I us. Tell you, honestly, I mean I do feel the love and, and you know that's that's the thing is you guys you know you really open my eyes a lot. Uh, I I've got an insight, I can't tell you what it is. I don't know. But I'm feeling it definitely. It's so so amazing to hear you guys speak the way you do and and talk from the heart. It's phenomenal. Thank you, Dee. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So. Thank you, Wayne, so much. Thank you. Because now, Rob, I have <laughs> gone into so many ideas and things and. Just go like, oh, I want to do this, and then, or I want to do that, and whenever I go, like, doesn't matter what I say, <laughs> and uh, and when well, it's my Rob, he just goes, yeah, okay, I'm okay with it. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. 
<laughs> so um, we we really we really love you, um, and you are incredible. Thank you so much for everything. Um, we we are gonna have on so series three is gonna start in November on the fourth of November. It's uh, I don't know what day I'm living in. Today's the seventh of October here, so for the recording it won't matter. But um, so we're gonna start in November. We're gonna have a little bit of a break mm -hmm. um, because we haven't stopped during the whole of the quarantine. I haven't stopped. We haven't stopped, and um, so we'll start in November with series three. Um, and uh, Derek is invited and Alfie is invited and we have it invited Wills yet but we're going to propose to you here Wills, will you be oh. in our series? He's gone He's <laughs> gone! He's, he's gone! gone. He's but gone. He's I gone. can speak for him <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he will He will <laughs> He will <laughs> Brilliant. The agent has spoken. <laughs> the, the manager has said. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the, the boss. <laughs> boss. We'll, 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 we'll have some chat afterwards about. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to start series three. And series three is going to start with Ian Watson. And Ian Watson was. It's like doing a prequel, you know, it's like when Star Wars mm. or like um, they just they just did what they did and then they go, oh, and this is how all started. So Ian Watson and then um, Carol Burroughs um, were uh, who started it all for us, started it all for me. I went to uh, a workshop with Ian Watson, not knowing what he was going to talk about, um, thinking he was going to talk about homeopathy or something about healing, or I had been listening to his recordings for pretty much two years before that. So that, I don't know, it was like 10 years ago. And then a friend says, oh, Ian Watson is doing a workshop in London, shall we go? And I didn't even read, I just paid and we went on the weekend. And then we arrived. And this man that I absolutely adored his intellect, like I love the way he talks and you know, he's so educated and, and wonderful. And then he starts talking about this that was like some like, silly, simple stuff, going to back to simplicity, Chris. And I just thought, oh, geez, he's, he's having a breakdown. He's just lost it. He's... <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, this is what it is in the first five minutes. And I'm going to spend the rest of the weekend talking about the same thing in different ways. And, um, and it just, for, to me, that was so silly. Like, mm -hmm. it made no sense. It looks just so good to be true and um and even the next day I arrived and I was so cross and I couldn't see it and um we were um at Regent's Park at that time and uh we went out for lunch with my friend and I was like you know what this was a waste of time waste of my money unfortunately um and then there was a squirrel and I had nuts in my pocket and this squirrel just kept coming up to my pocket, getting a little nut and going, going down, having the nut, coming back to my pocket, getting another nut. I remember looking at this with my friend, I was like, I never seen something like this. Like the, the trust of this squirrel that I'm not gonna hurt it, that, and my friend said, well, maybe all you need is a bit of trust. And that, boom, that got me. That, I went back and something was different. I heard something, um, I didn't know what happened. Um, so, but just to give you the intro to Ian Watson, who is going to talk about slender threads. So that little, connections that we don't see that we don't know and end up connecting us all like it's happened here um so that's going to be on the fourth wednesday the fourth of uh 
of November, series three starting. Um, and that is the 7.30 and I feel now so bad that we clash with you, but um, anyway, like it is just only half an hour. So uh, this is UK time, okay? So also for the um, Beyond uh, Truth, Beyond Recovery Entrepreneurs. So that is, it's at six o'clock, that's all UK time, but we will put the other times in other sounds. Yeah. So, you can unmute yourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. It was beautiful. I can't wait to listen to the first part. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chris. Speak soon, lots of love. Thanks guys. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you, Shell. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Bye everybody. Thank you, Chris. Thank, thank you, Michelle. You, thank you guys. Thank you, Wayne and Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. See you later, Wayne and Carolina. Awesome. See you later. Bye.